My name is Carrie Sigmund and I'm the Investor Relations Manager for Brixton Metals. Right now we're at the Thorn Camp for Brixton Metals. The Thorn property is located in northwest BC. It's about 130 kilometers away from the village of Atlan and uh, it's a 27,000 hectare package of land. So a huge expanse of land to be explored. Uh, currently we're exploring the Oban zone which is where we've had previous successes with exploration. We're on the Thorn project. We're actually standing on the Oban the Diatreme uh, Breccia zone that we've been uh, drilling uh, this season, 2013. We've been drilling a number of holes uh, looking to expand the uh, mineralization that we found in uh, 2011 and 2012. Well, we took a look at the existing data that, that we have and we added a uh, structural uh, geology interpretation and mapping. There were several weeks of uh, structural uh, geology mapping and we put together a, uh, a pretty good understanding of the structural network here and what we're seeing is uh, several uh, structures that appear to be related to the mineralization and we're starting to develop an understanding on the zone of a favorable uh, orientation for the drilling so it looks to be that we've got this northwest uh, southeast uh, dilation uh, within the structural regime here and we're seeing that from small hand samples to uh, large-scale outcrops to the whole region it seems to have this this network of uh, structural patterns that we're starting to put together to um, help us understand the structural story here. So that combined with the existing geophysical and geology and uh, geochem data that we have uh, that's helping us vector where, where we're drilling. And then we're putting all that data into a 3D uh, model and that's helping us uh, identify uh, our, our drill targets. And if you, if you look directly behind me is the Camp Creek a corridor where there's a whole series of, of veins, uh, high grade uh, high sulfidation veins that are silver, silver, gold, copper rich and in that instance you can actually see the uh, mineralization uh, in the outcrop within, within the uh, alteration assemblage. So it's quite a large alteration system and we're uh, right on the northern margin um, of the Oban and we're looking to uh, move towards the, uh, the veins and see if we can test some of those high grade veins through drilling. Uh, we're standing in the uh, Coreland, the Brixton Metals uh, Coreland at the Thorn property. And we've got mostly 2011-2012 uh, uh, core stacked here, and we've got 2013 uh, sectioned off in, in a new area. You can see the mineralization is, um, it's a matrix, matrix supported mineralization. Uh, these fragments are fragments of the diorite thorn stock that have been well rounded and milled and uh, we get this matrix supported uh, mineralization uh, in, in, uh, in between those fragments. I'm Kale Moody, I'm the Chief Financial Officer for Bricks and Metals. I've been in the exploration business for about seven, eight years now. We started up Bricks and Metals in 2010, Gary and I. We both came off an acquisition at that time, so it seemed like the right timing to start something up in uh, silver and gold exploration. And um, we focused drilling in this property and the results came up fantastically in the first season so we continue to focus on this project. Well, ideally, I mean, we want to continue to explore up here and um, continue to cut costs and create efficiencies. And we're spending basically all our money in the ground. We have a very, very low burn in our office in Vancouver and a um, very tight team. And um, everybody is putting their time in in the field. There's, there's just no shortage of targets. It's just going to be a matter of systematically uh, uh, proving out the resource. The big goal for us uh, ultimately is, is to build up these resources to, uh, to a 43-101 of, of significant uh, size. We've taken advantage of the fact that we're in a tough mining climate. So we have many vendors that are really hurting for business this year, so we're able to negotiate lower contracts. Um, secondly, we have the government incentives with BC mining tax credit and flow through. And the third thing, I guess, would be cost control. So we have Gary on the ground here that's really on top of all the costs. So, so everything, right down to buying food, coffee, uh, diesel, flights, everything. Um, he's on top of it on a daily basis. That's coming to our office in Vancouver. I'm looking at those costs. Uh, we're in contact every day, um, basically making sure we have no overruns in our budget. Well, I think the upside is, um, is that we're still relatively early in our uh, advancement of of what we think is a significant discovery here. 
our, our market cap is quite low and given that the juniors have taken a, a big hit, that's created the opportunity for, for people to participate in uh, what we think is a, a pretty significant resource development project. The final and most important thing is really a team effort. So I mean, you really have to have a core group of people that work really well together. And you know, we're seeing that here. And it's people are really enjoying themselves. You know, they're working hard to maximize efficiency. Everybody's getting along, everybody's helping out. We're running these crews 24 hours a day. And uh, everybody's putting on all hats to get the job done. So it's really fantastic. This really has been an incredible experience to, to really get out here and, I mean, first of all, the Thon is in a beautiful location, northwest BC, um, the mountains, the scenery is just phenomenal. And then to become a part of this team that works out here, uh, the team is really incredible. All of the people here work together so, so well and um, to just be a part of that and, and work in, in that environment for a few days has given me a new understanding of uh, how the exploration process works and I'm excited to get back to the city and uh, tell all of the shareholders and uh, the investors what's been going on and um, yeah, it's, uh, it's just been great.